Hey everybody, welcome back to another Pitchy Ninja's Filthiest Pitches of the Day. Remember before we get to those pitches, hit that subscribe button. Join Ninja Nation. And now, without further ado, here are my filthiest pitches of the day. I'm going to start with Taiwan Walker, who had these filthy curveballs. I love this home plate view of the curveball so you can see how much drop it has. He had five strikeouts, giving up two earned runs in seven and a third innings. Mitch Keller had six Ks in six innings and had this filthy slider. Michael Waka had these nasty changeups. His changeup's been really good this year with a 156 batting average against. It's enough to make you bend the knee before that greatness. Waka's ERA this year, 2.61. Jonathan Heasley went six and two-thirds scoreless innings with five strikeouts and had this curveball and fastball. Jack Flaherty continued his comeback with this slider and fastball. Hazel Cesardo, the Jesus Lizard, had six strikeouts and six innings thanks to these breaking balls and filthy changeup. Fernando Cruz opened the game for the Reds and went one and two-thirds innings giving up no runs or hits and had these nasty splitters. Max Fried had four strikeouts in six innings thanks to these pretty curveballs, his nasty changeup, and filthy sinker. His ERA on the year is now 2.52. Trevor Richards K'd the side as an opener and had this beautiful changeup. Matt Manning had his overpowering fastball and had five Ks in seven scoreless innings. Lucas Giolito gave up one run in four and two-thirds innings with five Ks and had this filthy slider and curveball. Tristan McKenzie had these pretty curveballs and got the sword. He had eight strikeouts in seven innings. Bailey Ober threw five scoreless innings, giving up only one hit, and had this nasty slider and changeup. Blake Snell had a solid outing, going seven innings with seven strikeouts, giving up only one run, and had these dirty breaking balls and overpowering fastball. Herman Marquez had these sick knuckle curves on his way to four strikeouts in seven innings. He was up against Marcus Stroman, who had a fantastic outing, going seven innings, giving up one run, and had five Ks. He really had his sinker moving a ton. I mean, check out this movement. Here's an overlay of Stroman's slider and sinker, and you can see why you would take that sinker for a strike. It looks just like that slider that you would swing at that ends up out of the zone, but ends up coming back and catching the zone. That's the anatomy of a backwards K. Dustin May was absolutely dominant going five innings, giving up no hits, and had four strikeouts. His fastball was up to 100 miles an hour. He had this sick sinker and had an 85-mile-an-hour breaking ball with almost 3,300 RPMs. Here's an overlay of his 97-mile-an-hour fastball and that 85-mile-an-hour breaking ball. And I also love the body language of Dustin May when he's on. Yeah, the pitch wasn't a strike, but he's telling the hitter, call time, take practice swings, you're just postponing the inevitable. I love Clayton Kershaw being interviewed during Dustin May's outing. And you can see it's not just me saying Dustin May is filthy. Kershaw 100% agrees. He also called the fact that May wasn't going to give up a hit in this outing. That was a good pitch right there. Oh, yeah, that was nasty. Um, which is a huge blow. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's not going to get hit tonight, I don't think. But uh, obviously you see the stuff. And it's just disgusting, and it's really hard to square up his pitches. Uh, Luis doesn't strike out a whole lot, and um, he's going to put the ball in play right here, I think. Let's take a look at the 3 Oh, two. I could be wrong, though. Oh, there we go. Clayton Kirsch. Adrian Martinez had this nasty changeup, but he was outdueled by my filthiest starter of the day, Justin Verlander. Verlander went five no hit innings with nine strikeouts, and it was mostly due to his six sliders and this changeup. Sure looks like he didn't skip a beat from his time on the IL. Verlander's ERA this year is now 1.78, and my guess is he kind of locked up the Cy Young Award with this outing. Here are the current FanDuel American League Cy Young odds. Now onto my filthiest relievers. Justin Topa had these fastballs. What's cool about Topa is he was signed by the Brewers after I tweeted him out. One of my favorite things to do is to help dudes get signed. Trevor Steffen had this six splitter. Amir Garrett had this wicked slider and K strut. Paulo Espino had these beautiful curveballs that dropped 71 and 72 inches. Yep, that's six feet of drop with gravity. Justin Lawrence had this wiffle ball 97 mile an hour sinker. Look at the movement on this thing. 
Jimmy the Human Glitch Herget had this pretty curveball. Michael Fulmer had this filthy 90 mile an hour slider. Alex Lang caved the side with this filth and was effing fired up. Cue the trumpets. Edwin Diaz had this 101 mile an hour flaming fastball and this 92 mile an hour slider. Jose Alvarado had this fierce 94 mile an hour cutter. And here's an overlay of his 101 mile an hour sinker and his 93 mile an hour cutter. Good luck. Penn Murphy had this disgusting slider. Look at the swing on this. But my filthiest reliever from yesterday, that was Ryan Helsley. Ryan Helsley closed out the game with an immaculate inning. I think this is only the third immaculate inning in Cardinals history. And this may have been the most dominant inning of the season so far by any pitcher. And here's an overlay of Helsley's 102 mile an hour fastball and 92 mile an hour slider. You can see why he would have an immaculate inning. And now, my Pitching Ninja moment of zen. I think this is what happens when wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube guy arm flailing comes tube to man. life. Wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube man. Wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube man. What's up Ninja Nation? My picks of the day today are a three leg parlay. I'm gonna go with Zach Gallon for six Ks or more. Aaron Nola for seven Ks or more. And top it off with Shohei Otani for seven Ks or more. What would your picks of the day be? 